Before we get going, Joseph, here's the here's the the wild horse sixes. Yeah, I've got the oh, fives. you got the fives. Oh, that's awesome. The sixes look pretty sweet. It does look pretty sweet. Yeah, I haven't seen them in person. Some yet. some mint on the side there. Yeah. So this is Joseph, my brother. We're going running. <laughs> well, so yeah, those are the sixes. I think they're kind of crazy. Yeah, they are, but uh, I like it. That's I must cool. I must say, I'm pretty excited about them. Yeah. You maybe saw my first impression but yeah yeah they nice. just uh pretty big update yeah you know the fives i, I enjoyed the fives but sixes are pretty solid everybody nice so nice. always uh pushing the limits on their uh always aesthetics and always innovating pretty cool so and this gator is like at first i was skeptical but if it's very comfortable and yeah, yeah. if it actually keeps rocks out i need to do more testing but it yeah. seems pretty it's like a pretty good wrap around the ankle, so. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you never want rocks in your shoes. Yeah. All right, we're rolling up Green Mountain. Air five, <laughs> boom, air five. Oh man, it's funny. I know. And we're back. Cheers, everybody. Little tuna and noodles to recover from the miles with Joseph. Uh, nine miles today. We got about 1,300 feet of vertical, I do believe. Green Mountain, just outside of Denver, Colorado. Great place to run. We're back. Great run with Joseph. Hello. Crushed it. And uh, it's just- Nine miles in the books. Nine miles, just always great to share miles with your best friend, oh, you know? I so, love it. shout out to Joseph. We love you, Joseph Barton. Joseph Mac Barton. Mackie. And McKenzie, Mac and Mac. So, anyway. I am proud of you. It's a beautiful weekend. It was a beautiful weekend. We got our yummy food. We got our sriracha. We got our sriracha. And time to catch up on some chores at the house doing the dishes. But first, I woke up in a panic last night at about 11 p.m. because I realized, wait a minute, I don't think I did a question of the day yesterday. I didn't ask one, so I do apologize about that. So I don't want to miss the question of the day today. Here you go. Question of the day. Tomorrow, if you could go run with one person, who would it be? Okay, now I know we're social distancing right now, but just think like down the road. Who could you? Who would you go run with? An old teammate, uh, a family member, friend, uh, an old coach, anybody in the world. Okay, anyone in the world. Who would you go run with? Three miles, five miles, ten miles, and why? All right, there's the QD. Time to do the dishes. Okay. Whoa. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. Dishes are done, time to go deal with some boxes outside. We got, 
We've got a little situation on the back patio, everyone. Little si All right, we've got to deal with this right now. Okay, here we go. Move that. Ugh. Move this. And yes, I do get the question quite often. Uh, Seth, how do you afford all of these running shoes? And I was thinking about it inside. Is there a percentage I could put on as far as like how many shoes I purchase and how many shoes are sent to me from running shoe companies? And I was thinking about it inside and I'm going to land on 70-30. So 30% I buy, 70% are sent to me from running shoe companies. And remember what I'm always saying? I think I need to make a t-shirt. Beholden to no one. I just love the fact that on this channel, I don't have to run in Hoka. I don't have to run in Solomon. I don't have to run an ultra. I can run in whatever I want to test out for all of you. And so anyway, we're picking up the back patio with these uh, boxes and not all, just so you know, not all these boxes are mine. Some of them are sent to me from, uh, for the people that are donating the shoes for the SOS, the, the Sharing Our Shoes initiative. So which more updates very soon, very soon on that. Thank you for your patience. Okay, time to break them down here. There we go. Much, much better back here on the patio. Now, Leslie, the last thing I need to start doing is collecting running shoe boxes. But how cool is that from Saucony? It's got a track on there. I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping this one. All right, here we go. Speaking of running shoe boxes, remember the big box that arrived a couple days ago? Let's go open up the next road running shoe. Now, I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that the shoe inside this box is going to be very intriguing and of high interest to a lot of people in 2020. And why do I say that? And by the way, hit pause on the blog right now and go guess down below in the comments what shoe am I talking about in this, inside this box? Can you guess correctly? All right, down in the comments, make a guess. So... Uh, I do. The reason I make that prediction is because the 2019 vlog about the first iteration of this shoe has over 100,000 views right now. Like it really has taken off, and I just think that this shoe has gained a lot of attention in the running sh in the running world and in, in the running shoe space. Okay, so here we go. Can you guess correctly? And yes, this is an example of a shoe that was sent to me. Uh, I did not buy this shoe. Okay, so, you know, getting back to the uh, discussion outside. Hold on, I gotta, it's a big box. I gotta do this on the ground here. Here we go, okay. All right, okay. Can you see any color? Can you see any color? All right, one, two, and three. Oh, it's blue. Hoka in the house. Oh, whoa, whoa. There it is, okay. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Did you guess correct? Hoka Recon 2 in the house again. Am I saying it correctly? Oh my, my. Remember how popular. Oh, ooh, wow. Okay, that is with the uh, this piece of cardboard in there. It is feeling very, very lightweight. Wow. So this is one of my favorite shoes from 2019. Again, Rincon, Rincon. I think it's Rincon. It's based, it's, uh, I'll actually put it on a title right now. It's named after a surfing area in California, I do believe. I think, I think that's the story behind the name. Uh, I, anyway, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Oh my goodness. That is, I can tell already that this is going to be a fun shoe to try out. And yes, let's find, let's find the Rincon one real quick here. Hold on. There it is. There it is. It's at the bottom. It's at the bottom of the pile. Hold on. It's at the bottom. Okay. You all remember this guy. All right. Let me actually put a, a shoe insert here just to, okay, let's stick that in. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Similar midsole look thus far. Uh, it's looking like the stack height may have gained a little, a little extra height. We'll see. I'll do the testing and the measurements for you. Uh, not today, but soon. And how this channel works is that shoes arrive at my house, whether I buy them or whether they're sent to me. And hopefully, hopefully, I can provide a little bit of education, a little bit of shedding light on what shoes I like, what shoes I don't like. Keeping in mind, my biomechanics, my foot strike is unique to me. So not every shoe that I love or dislike is, like if I, I might dislike a shoe and it might be your favorite shoe out there or vice versa, okay? So keep that in mind as I'm doing first impressions, running shoe reviews here in the studio. Just gonna say though, this is gonna go to 50 miles 
immediately. Immediately. Like I could just tell by holding it. Oh man, this is exciting. So onward and upward. Okay. Let's go out. <laughs> what are you doing in the fridge, you two? <laughs> Hun, how was your it walk? So oh, in your new shirt. Good. Oh, Hello. looking good, looking good. Hun, how far did you walk? Oh, 48 minutes. 48 what minutes. Was it more than that? I think it was more than no, that. No, I think it was almost an hour. I think it was, it was long. Yes. Crushed it. I, I try not to look at the phone. I just put on podcasts and I just, me and Boom. Michael go. I mean, oh. Henry. Rocking and rolling, so. It felt so good. It feels good and it's crazy. It's the end of the day. You think you're like in a sleep slump down and you're revived. Boom. And you can put all the children to bed now, babies. Come on. Boom. Come on. So we love you all. We're signing off. <laughs> Great job. I love this man. Great job, Thanks everybody. Thanks for shoes. Crushing it out there. Shoes are crushing it. Michael's crushing Michael it. We love you. And oh, oh, he said hi. Can you say hi again? Michael, yeah. Say hi. <laughs> so we love you guys thanks for being here thanks for watching and we're gonna toss it back to um i don't even know what maybe true love will pick one. Oh yeah okay we'll pick one and it'll be true love's one of true, a true love oh, fun. Pick. okay right there I right like there that. all right everyone say beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow see you tomorrow bye, bye. bye. <laughs> honey you know what one always comes Perfect. to mind yeah cookie chase